فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا دا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد We are in the explanation of the kitab Kitab al-Sifat written by al-Imam al-Dara Qutni رحمه الله He says al-Imam al-Dara Qutni حدثنا أبو عبد الله المعدلي أحمد بن عمر بن عثمان بواسط Now this is a tasrif meaning it's incorrect and there are a couple of tasrif in the nuskha the copy of al-Shaykh Abdullah ibn Muhammad al-Ghunayman this is a tasrif it's haddathana Abu Ubaidullah bit tasghir that's the correct and it is not correct to say Abu Abdullah al-Mu'addali it is Abu Ubaidullah al-Mu'addali because his name is Ahmed ibn Amr ibn Uthman al-Wasati. The second mistake is Ahmed ibn Umar. It says in the copy of Sheikh Abdullah ibn Muhammad al-Ghunayman's copy. And it should be Ahmed ibn Amr. So there's a wow missing from there, which is a tasrif. Ibn Uthman biwasit. So his name is Ahmed ibn Amr ibn Uthman al-Wasati. Ibn Athir, he mentions him in Ghayatul Nihaya. And he says the following about him in the first volume. Page 93. He says, روى القراءة سماعا عن شعيب بن أيوب عن يحيى بن آدم. He says that he had narrated the قراءة from شعيب بن أيوب from يحيى بن آدم. And Al-Imam al-Dara-Qutni, Abu al-Hassan Ali ibn Umar al-Dara-Qutni, he said about him that he's a thiqqatun thabd. And also al-Dara-Qutni narrated from him qiraat, the recitation of the Qur'an from him as well. So the correct way is Abu Ubaidullah, Abu Ubaidullah al-Mu'addali, Ahmad ibn Amr, and not Ahmad ibn Umar. So correct that from the copy. He says, Haddathana Isa ibn Abi Harbin, Isa ibn Abi Harb, his name is Isa ibn Musa ibn Abi Harb al-Saffar. His tarjama, Imam al-Khatib al-Baghdadi, brings it in Tariq al-Baghdad. And he said he is a kana thiqah. He was a, a reliable and an honest and an honorable person. So Isa ibn Abi Harb, he said, Haddathana Yahya ibn Abi Kathir. Isn't that what he says in the copy of Abdullah ibn Muhammad al-Ghunayman? That Isa ibn Abi Harbin Haddathana Yahya ibn Abi Kathir, right? That's another tashrif. That is another tashrif. It's incorrect. Because it's not Yahya ibn Abi Kathir. Abu Nasr al-Yamami. It's not him. It is Yahya ibn Abi Bukair. Abu Zakariya al-Karmani al-Kufi. Thiqa. He's a reliable person. So the copy of Sheikh here saying that it is Yahya ibn Abi Kathir is wrong. It is Yahya ibn Abi Bukair. Yahya ibn Abi Bukair. Very good. Yahya ibn Abi Kathir is Al-Ta'iyu, Abu Nasr al-Yamami. That's not him. Haddathana Abdul Ghaffar ibn Al-Qasim. Haddathana عبد الغفار ابن أبي القاسم الأنصاري. هي زي الرافضي خبيث. هي الرافضي رموه بالكذب ووضع الحديث. هي criticized for lying and he fabricated narrations. حافظ ابن حجر رحمه الله. he said in his لسان الميزان the fifth volume page one page forty six he says رافضي ليس بثقة. Ali ibn al-Madini said, كان يضع الحديث, he used to fabricate narrations. Yahya ibn al-Ma'in said about him, ليس بشيء, he's nothing, he's worth nothing. 
it is also mentioned that Shu'bah narrated from him. And when Shu'bah found out that he was not a reliable person, فَلَمَّا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ أَنَّهُ لَيْسَ بِثِقَةٍ تَرَكَهُ Shu'bah left him after he realized he's not a reliable person. But Imam Shu'bah, Imam Shu'bah, he used to praise the memorization of this individual, Abdul Ghaffar ibn al-Qasim Abu Maryam al-Ansari. He used to praise his memorization. Daraqutni said, Maturukul hadith. His narration is left. It was said that Shu'bah's, the affairs of this man was hidden from him. Like he wasn't aware of it. And that is why he fell short in that regard. But we don't really, it doesn't really concern us because this narration is backed up with other narrations. Sahih? قَالَ حَدَّثَنِي عَدِي بْنُ ثَابِتٍ He said, Adi ibn Thabitin told me, Al-Kufi, Adi ibn Thabit al-Ansari, Al-Kufi. You see, he's a thiqa. Rumiya bit tashayyu' But he was accused of having tashayyu' in him. Adi ibn Thabitin said, Haddathani Zir ibn Hubaysh. Zir ibn Hubaysh told me, An Ubay ibn Ka'ab. And Zir ibn Hubaysh, we said, his name is Zir ibn Hubaysh ibn Aus. He's a thiqqatun, jaleel, and he's a tabi'i. He's a tabi'i, he narrated from the companions. He said, An Ubay ibn Ka'ab. Huh? An Ubay ibn Ka'ab. Qala, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the messenger said, Inna jahannama tas'alu al-mazida. Jahannama asks for extra. Hatta yadha'u fiha qadamahu until Allah places his foot inside it. فَيَنْزَوِي بَعْضُهَا إِلَىٰ بَعْضٍ وَتَقُولُ قَطْ قَطْ And فَيَنْزَوِي means its walls come together. It comes together. وَتَقُولُ And then it says قَطْ قَطْ Enough, enough. It says enough, enough. Very good. حدثنا الإمام دار القطني سيد حدثنا أبو حامد محمد بن هارون الحضرمي حدثنا حمدان بن علي الوراق حدثنا أبو سلمة حدثنا حمد قال حدثنا يونس بن عبيد عن محمد عن أبي هريرة عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. so this حديث إمام دار القطني نريد from who أبو حامد محمد بن هارون نريد from who Abu Hamid, Muhammad ibn Harun al-Hadrami. Muhammad ibn Harun al-Hadrami. He's a muhaddith nun tiqah. He's a scholar of hadith and he's reliable. Al-Mu'ammar, he aged. He reached a very old age. You see? He reached a very old age. Very good. الإمام أبو حامد محمد بن هارون ابن عبد الله ابن حميد الحضرمي البغدادي is his name من بقايا المسندين حمدان بن علي الوراق who he then narrated from حمدان بن علي الوراق his name is حمدان بن علي الوراق محمد بن علي ابن عبد الله ابن مر ابن مهران أبو جعفر and is well known as حمدان He's very well known as Hamdan. كَانَ فَاضِلًا عَارِفًا حَافِظًا ثِقَةً He was a virtuous individual. And he was a hafiz, a scholar of hadith, who memorized hadith and a reliable person. He then says, Hamdan ibn Ali al-Warraq says, حَدَّثَنَا Abu Salamata. His name is Musa ibn Ismail al-Minqari. Al-Minqari. Mawlahum Abu Salamata al-Tabudaki. Abu Salamata al-Tabudaki. Who then narrates from, and he's a Basri, thiqatun, thabt. You find Abu Salamata, Musa ibn Ismail al-Minqari. Abu Salamata al-Tabudaki. You find him in the books of Hadith. Bukhari, Muslim, Dawood, Tirmidhi. You find him in him. He's a thiqa to accept a reliable person. He narrates from who? Hamad. Who is this? Hamad ibn Salamat ibn Dinar. He's a thiqa to an abidun. 
And he's the most strongest person when it comes to the narration of Thabit. His narrations regarding Thabit, he's Athbatun Nathi fi Thabit. He's the strongest when it comes to the narrations of Thabit. He narrates from Hadathana Yunus ibn Ubaid. Yunus? Yunus ibn Ubaid. Yunus ibn Ubaid ibn Dinar al Abdi. He's a tiqatun, tabtun, fadilun, wari'ah. A reliable scholar of hadith, praised and honored. He then narrates from Hamad ibn Salamat ibn Dinar. Narrates from who? Yunus ibn Ubaid. He narrates from who? Yunus ibn Ubaid. And Yunus ibn Ubaid, we mentioned who he is, right? Yunus ibn Ubaid ibn Dinar al Abdi. Sah? Yunus ibn Ubaid narrates from who? Ata ibn Sa'ib. He says, Haddathana Abu Salama, Haddathana Hamad, Kala Haddathana Yunus ibn Ubaid an. Yunus ibn Ubaid narrates from who? An Muhammad, right? Is that what he says for you? Yunus ibn Ubaid narrates from who? Muhammad here is Muhammad ibn Muhammad ibn Sirin. Muhammad ibn Sirin. And then I'm reading the second chain, which then he goes on to say, Al Muhammad ibn Sirin. An Abi Huraira Anin Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The second narration is what? An Abi, uh, the second narration says, Mithl hadithi haddathnahu Abu Salamata. Sahih? Haddathana Hamad an Ata ibn Sa'ib. So the first narration, which companion was it narrated from? Abu Hurair radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Very good. And it says, مثل حديث حدثناه أبو سلمة. Hey, yeah. who Abu Salama narrated from Hamad ibn Salama. Ibn Dinar. Who then narrates from who? An Ata ibn Sa'ib. And Ata then narrates from who? An Ubaidullah ibn Abdullah ibn Utbah. Ubaidullah ibn Abdullah ibn Utbah. An Abi Sa'id ibn Khudri. So which companion is it narrated from? The first chain, Hamad ibn Salama, who did he narrate from? The first one, what, the narration of Abu Huraira. Yunus ibn Ubaid, right? In the second riwayah, who did he narrate from? لا, Hamad ibn Salama, who did he narrate from? Ata ibn Sa'i. The reason why the author brought it like that is, he brought the hadith lil wajhayni. And in Daru Qutani, bringing it both like this, to these two wajh, is that Hamad ibn Salama, his narrations from Yunus and Muhammad ibn Sirin and Abi Huraira ibn Khuzayma narrating Kitab al Tawheed, and it is a sanad which is sahih, it's very good, crystal clear. The first narration, where uh, Hamad ibn Salama narrates from Yunus ibn Ubaid, and Yunus ibn Ubaid narrates from Muhammad Sirin. This sanad is crystal clear and it is authentic. Ibn Khuzayma narrates this one. There's no problem with that one. The second narration, there's a, what? There's a, there's a look to it. Which is the narration where Abu Salamata and Musa ibn Ismail al Minqari, Abu Salamata al Tabudaki, is narrating from Hamad and then Hamad is narrated from Ata ibn Sa'ib. So the question here, or the, the looking at this narration, or the weakness of this narration, is between Hamad narrating from Ata ibn Sa'ib. This is what scholars have questioned. Even that though Al Haythami, in his Mujma'u Zawaid, wa Manba'u Al Fawaid, he says that Rijaluhu Thiqat, all the narrators in there are reliable because Hamad ibn Salama, he narrated from Ata ibn Sa'ib قبل الاختلاط, before he mixed. Before he what? Hamad ibn Salama, he mixed up narrations, ikhtilat happened to him. So, Al Haythami, in his Mujma'u Zawaid, wa Manba'u Al Fawaid, he says that this hadith is authentic. All the narrators are reliable and there's no problem with Hamad ibn Salama narrated from Ata ibn Sa'ib because Hamad, he had narrated from Ata ibn Sa'ib قبل الاختلاط before he mixed. But this is not the case. That is not the truth. That's not right. Because he did also narrate from him after ikhtilat. He narrated from him what? بعد الاختلاط. And when a narrator narrates from a person قبل الاختلاط and بعد الاختلاط and you do not know when he narrated, when he heard this one from him. Was it before the ikhtilat or was it after the ikhtilat? 
the scholars of hadith, what they do is, is this right now, what they do is, مثل هذا يتوقف. توقف is done. You withhold from it. ولا يحتج به. And scholars don't use it as a hujjah. إلا لو تابعه من روى عن عطاء قبل الاختلاط. Unless there's somebody who narrated from عطاء ابن سائب. You see, other than Hamad, you see, then, uh, then Hamad's narration here will say maybe it's from the Qabl al-Ikhtilat, if he's got somebody to support him. Are you with me, brothers? Shaykh al-Bani in his Zilal al-Jannah, he says, وحمد ibn Salama rawa anhu fil ikhtilat wa qabla. He narrated from him, Hamad ibn Salama narrated from Ata ibn Sa'ib before the ikhtilat and after the ikhtilat. فلا يحتج بحديثي عنه إلا إذا ك... إلا إذا تبين أنه سمعه منه قبل وهي هاته. Unless it becomes clear to you that he had heard this from you before he done the اختلاط happened to him and Sheikh Al Bani said to you وهي هاته. It's impossible for you to. It's impossible for you to know that. But what we have here is what has happened here is this hadith actually shows that عطاء ابن السائب actually Sorry, Hamad ibn Salama actually did narrate this narration from him بعد الاختلاط. There's a, there's a reason to believe that. And not the قبل الاختلاط. There is a belief to say that, to strengthen that. Because, are you with me brothers? The statement of Muhammad ibn Yahya al-Dhuhali, Muhammad ibn Yahya al-Dhuhali, who is the Sheikh of Imam Muslim al Bukhari. Are you with me brothers? He mentions, he says, Al Hadith an Abi Huraira Taradiallahu Ta'ala Anu Mustafid. Fama an Abi Sa'idin Fala. The narration coming from Abu Huraira is well known. As for it coming from Abi Sa'idin al Khudri, that's not known. Are you with me, brothers? And so, Hamad ibn Salama, he's been opposed in this particular narration. For example, Jarir ibn Abdul Hamid narrated it from Ata ibn Sa'ib. And then he narrated it from Ubaidullah ibn Utbah an Abi Hurairah. So even Ata ibn Abi Rabah, Ata ibn Sa'ib, there's a sanad from him, which he, the hadith, he takes it back to Abu Hurairah. Good. Are you with me, brothers? So we have Jarir ibn Abdul Hamid mentioning Ata ibn Sa'ib. Narrating from who? Ubaidullah ibn Utba and Abi Huraira. Badal of who? Badal Abi Sa'id al Khudri. Very good. And that's the riwayah that Al Imamu, that's the riwayah that Al Imamu ibn Khuzayma rahimahullah took. Are you with me, brothers? So Al Imam Ata ibn Sa'ib, his narrations regarding Abu Huraira is what's authentic. Jarir ibn Abdul Hamid narrated it from him, which is correct. Also, Muhammad ibn Fudayl narrated from Ata uh, ibn Sa'ib and Aun ibn Abdullah ibn Utbah an Abi Huraira. So some may even say that Muhammad ibn Fudayl was also from those who narrated from Ata ibn Sa'ib after the ikhtilat as well. So how are you going to take him over Hamad ibn Salama? We'll say at least Muhammad ibn Fudayl's riwayah has a mutaba'a. So the riwayah of what? Muhammad ibn Fudayl narrated from Ata being after the ikhtilat, then we'll say at least it has a mutaba'a and a support from who? Jarir ibn Abdul Hamid. As for the riwayah of Hamad ibn Salama, he doesn't have it. So, the strong narration is that it is narrated from who? Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu. There is a riwayah that I came across in Sahih Muslim that Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu has, this hadith has been narrated from him. Which is, Jarir narrated from A'mash, who then narrated from Abi Salih, and the narration the Senate goes like that, to Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Muslim narrated that, Ahmed narrated that, and Abu Ya'la narrated it. Ala kulli hal, this hadith um, seems, whether it becomes weak or not, but it's from those narrations which have mutabaat, and it strengthens it. Very good. An Abi Sa'id al Khudri, an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If Takharat il Jenna to one Naru, Fakalat in Naru, the Jenna and the Nar boasted. 
amongst themselves. فَقَالَتِ الْجَنَّةُ The Jannah said, يَدْخُلُنِي الْجَبَابِرَةُ وَالْمُلُوكُ وَالْأَشْرَافُ The tyrants and the kings and the ashraf, the ones who, the leaders, the, the, the chief of the tribes, enter me, the nar said. وَقَالَتِ الْجَنَّةُ The Jannah said, يَدْخُلُنِي الْفُقَرَاءُ وَالْمَسَاكِينُ that the poor and the needy will enter me. فَقَالَ لِلنَّارِ Allah said to the nar, أَنْتَ عَذَابِ أُصِيبُ بِكِ مَنْ أَشَاءُ You are my punishment. I will afflict you with whoever I will. وَقَالَ لِلْجَنَّةِ Allah said to the Jannah, أَنْتَ رَحْمَتِي You are my mercy. You are my what? You are my mercy. وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ That is vast over everything. وَلِكُلِّ وَاحِدَةٍ مِنْكُمَّا مِلْؤُهَا And both of you, you have your fill. فَأَمَّا النَّارُ فَيُلْقَى فِيهَا The hellfire, the ones who were made for it will be thrown into it. وَتَقُولُ And the hellfire will then say, هَلْ مِنْ مَزِيدٍ Is there any extra? It will say it what? Three times. It will say it what? It will say it ثلاث مرات. Three times. حتى يأتيها تبارك وتعالى until Allah comes to it. فيضع قدمه عليها and he places his foot inside it. فينزوي وتقول قدني قدني. And it will then say enough, enough for me. إلا أن أبا هريرة قال عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قط قط. Except the riwayah of Abu Huraira, instead of saying qidni, qidni, it says qat, qat. Abu Sa'id al-Khadri's riwayah says qidni, qidni. Haddathana Muhammad ibn Makhlad. We took his tarjamah. Did we not? Muhammad ibn Makhlad. We took him when we were on the second riwayah. So we spoke about him. Haddathana Muhammad ibn Ishaq al-Sagani. Muhammad ibn Ishaq al-Sagani. We also took him in the second athar. Second. Um, hadith Haddathana Hassan Al-Ashyab So Haddathana Hassan Al-Ashyab Hassan Al-Ashyab is Al-Hassan Ibn Musa Abu Ali Al-Baghdadi Al-Ashyab Thiqa He's a reliable person and he's from the Ruwat who are in the found in the sixth hadith book You'll find him in it Haddathana Hamad Ibn Salama Haddathana Hamad ibn Salama, and we took him, rahimahullah ta'ala. Haddathana Hamad ibn Salama. An Yunus, what does your riwayah say? What does it say? Shia Abdullah, his riwayah says, An Yunus, An Ubaid, right? Yes. The An is wrong again. We just took it right now. It's meant to be Yunus ibn Ubaid, right? So the An here is Tashif. It's meant to be Ibn Ubaid. It's meant to be Bin, right? So, عن يونس بن عبيد. So, just correct that. عن. And that's a tashif. Very good. وأيو وأيوب السختياني. And, so, Hamad ibn Salama narrated from who? Two people. He narrated from who? عن يونس بن عبيد. And he narrated from who? وأيوب السختياني. صحيح. And he also narrated from أيوب السختياني. أيوب. Does anyone remember from amongst you who Ayyub al Sakhtiani is? Yeah. You remember Ayyub al Sakhtiani? What's his name? Yeah, what's his name? What's his kunya? I said Ayyub al-Sakhtiyani, Abu Tamimah, Abu Tamimah. He's a Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala. He was a what? Basri, and Ayyub al-Sakhtiyani, and Habib ibn al-Shaheed, and Habib ibn al-Shaheed al-Azdi, Abu Muhammad. And it's also said Abu al-Shaheed. 
So Uso said, Abu Shaheed, instead of Abu Muhammad, some say Abu Shaheed al Basri, Thiqatun. And he's from the Min Rijali, Min Rijali Kutub al Hadith, Kutub al Hadith Sitta. He's from the six books of Hadith, you'll find him in there. Habib ibn al-Shaheed. What does it say? An? Habib ibn al-Shaheed. What does it say? Ah, that is wrong. Habib ibn al-Shaheed cannot go and from Abu Huraira. Here, there's a sakt that fell from the from Sheikh Abdullah ibn Muhammad al-Ghunayman's nuskha. You see? Is Habib ibn Shaheed an Muhammad ibn Sirin. Muhammad Sirin is missing from there. There's a sakt. Are you with me, brothers? So you find a couple of mistakes in Sheikh Abdullah. Abdullah ibn Muhammad al Ghunayman's nuskha. Are you with me, brothers? So who's missing from there? Muhammad ibn Sirin is missing from that riwayah. Very good. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه بمثل حديث حماد عن عطاء بن سائب. You see, so we said حماد narrated from who? 